Welcome everyone to University Stadium, home to the Lobos of the University of New Mexico, and the fans here are fired up for this clash. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Lobos offense will get the first crack at it here. And here comes this quarterback when he takes the field. He brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but yeah, he makes the whole team better, but the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need it. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Grabbed over the middle. It's Sullivan. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages. It tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. The Lobos have it with a first and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Henry. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out of the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Give to the back. Got enough for the first. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Lobos look to keep this drive humming. They'll leave it with the lone back. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Scanning the field, it's Dampier. Finds a soft spot in the middle. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man! He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Using his legs, it's Henry. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner Pollock. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, aw, shucks, or something. Aw, shucks, or something. 
on second down. Just keeps firing. Skips away from... And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. The number one job is to protect their quarterback, and they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. Tenth play of the drive coming up at this time, a chance for the defense to get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. Yeah, in third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. The Lobos line up to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And just a spectacular punt. It'll go out of bounds inside the five-yard line and really put this offense in a hole. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Looking left, and his throw is incomplete. They'll line up for a second down play. Off the play fake. Unloads to the right. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit forcing that incompletion. The relentless emptying of the playbook on this opening drive has now finally hit a wall. It's third and long. The throw. And they can't make the connection on third down. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man. -man. Everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting Number up for it. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy, a 42-yarder from the left hash. The official says no good. And the score will stay right where it is after that miss. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. The 42-yard field goal that was no good gives them the ball back at the 25-yard line. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Right back to him. Gets it across the 30 to the 31, a pickup of five. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Off play action. Catch in the middle, it's Ross. Nice job to get it past the sticks and they get him down at the 35. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're gonna be throwing into zone coverage, you gotta throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've gotta hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's gonna be. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up. 
wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. He's got trips left, single receiver right on second and two. They go to the ground. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. He leaves it with his back. Fakes his man out. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll go right back to the run. Runs through a tackle. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Sometimes in your playbook, you have run plays that are called run it runs. You leave the play on no matter what look the defense gives you. That time the defense was blitzing, but they just kept the play on. That is an attitude type run that you can run into any kind of look, and it paid off for. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he's brought down after a nice game. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. I can hear the defensive coordinator in the next booth yelling, wrap up, you have to wrap up. Bring your feet, four points of contact. You hear all those stuff from your defensive coaches. But you know what? Sometimes the guy's just better than you. He makes a play and gets in the end zone. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7 0. So that was a 10 play, 75 yard drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. And stampeding through the defense. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Let's see what the Lobos offense has in store. Unleashes one. Grabbed in the middle. It's Henry. Running toward the tape. And he eluded the defense. And he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Lobos. Man, how? is it to defend you have a weapon like this a running back that can play wide receiver you can design ways to get the football in his hand Palmer once you get in his hands he'll do the rest yeah no doubt I mean and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks and these running backs they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space their vision their creativity their ability to make people miss and this guy showed you right there a difficult difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward Ready to try the point after. Point. 
And it's up and good. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. We'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard gain. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, running back gets to give. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Snap from the gun on third down. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen and still pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. 